do not know whether I had a single role model in my life. There, there had been people that uh, who inspired me, um, but not for, as far as I recall, for an extended period of time. Uh, they were fascinating, uh, maybe for a year or something like that, and then as as you are younger, you are growing up, you learn a lot, and then things are changing. If I have to name a person who inspired me and was a role model for me, it was uh, the commander of my f uh, fast patrol boat uh, when I was in the German Navy, Jürgen Pürsche. He was a leader in the best sense of the word. I have difficulties to um, define that people should have certain characteristics. We are all different and uh, therefore we react to different uh, stressors in the positive sense now, uh, to uh, different challenges. One thing though that I firmly believe in is a quote of and you won't believe it, Michelangelo. He said, the danger for most of us today is not that we are setting goals that are too high and we fail in achieving them, but that we are setting goals that are mediocre and we are achieving them. And that in turn means we want to be challenged. I have not met a single person who did not want to be challenged in order to grow. Now, it would be a big misunderstanding to believe that every single person wants to be challenged in the same field. You can never turn me into a 100 meter runner. It's not going to work. You can challenge me as much as you want. I will never run faster because of that. So to identify where are the strengths of that person and figure out where does that uh, person want to be challenged. That is a capacity that a leader should have. And Jürgen Pösche had that in an exemplary way. And paired that with empathy for the people that was inspiring and remarkable. A person who never fails learns nothing. That is uh, my humble opinion. And uh, the reason is, the, the, the only thing I can imagine that you are not failing is because you do things that you know you can do, but you have never tried something where you don't know whether you can do it. But that is what it is all about. I would give that message not so much to the young generation of explorers, but to uh, their uh, leaders and bosses in the company. Allow the young people to try and allow them to fail. We are born by trying and failing. That is our nature. This is how we are. I just received a video of our youngest grandchild trying to crawl. It is so funny. It's just an attempt of trying something and he fails. <laughs> it's not yet working, but you can see how ready, how it is going. That, that is in us. But what do we learn? And it starts in school, red marks. Yeah. A failure is bad. Now I'm not saying make this, make on uh, uh, make uh, on purpose failures in your exams. This is not the failure I'm talking about. But we get very early on a feedback that a failure is something bad. And we should look at it from yet another side. A failure is an opportunity to learn. And one of the things uh, I mentioned my father, when I did something stupid, I wouldn't even call it a failure, he said, Gerhard, that was a mistake, but you know what is really stupid? If you make the same mistake twice. <laughs>